Perfect. My little robot man charger. Why, hello. Welcome to another do-it-yourself Thursday Learn Day. This time, we're coming to you from Ireland. Let's go check out the program. Welcome back to our Thursday Learn Day. We're some St. Peter's and St. Paul's from Ireland. Today we are go be going to learn about gravity and air resistance. Let's shake it out! We're making parachutes outside. Master Keane's going to stand on the roof. He's going to uh, drop it and then uh, if you put too much stuff on it, it will come down uh, faster. But if you put like a uh, little bit of stuff, it will come down slower. If you put too much like, cardboard, it will come down faster. If you put like a well vest, it will go next door. Three, two, one, GP! go. Ours is near 200. That wasn't bad. The parachute program uses the accelerometer in Sphero and a timer to record the start and stop of the free fall for our parachutes. Let's take a look at the logic to see how it works. Here, enter your predetermined height in the drop height variable. We dropped our chutes off of a roof at chest level, which was around 450 centimeters. Well, 457 centimeters to be exact. This loop block sets the LED to green until you drop Sphero, which will result in an accelerometer reading of about zero, although we use 0.2, so it doesn't need to be perfect to work because sometimes the data has anomalies. Here's the start timer. This sets the start time variable to the current elapsed time in the program, effectively starting a timer to measure how long Sphero is in freefall. This block sets the LED to red while in freefall until Sphero hits the ground, when it will register 1G from the accelerometer. This is the end timer. This sets the land time variable to the current elapsed time in the program. We'll use that later on. This block sets the LED to white after Sphero hits the ground. Now, this block speaks the drop height in centimeters within the program. The next block calculates the air time by subtracting start time from land time. And finally, this block calculates the average airspeed in centimeters per second by dividing the drop height by the air time using this formula. Speed equals distance over time. What a program. I'm ready to go and teach a physics lesson now after looking at that. That was another first day learn day. To see more first day learn days, check it out!